Hello Pisces and welcome to your message. Just gonna really quickly use my selenite wand to clear energy. Quotidiana di Yerosho Soto. selenite wand always when I would do it with clients so you may feel this too afterwards there's this calming just like you could feel like things that had that were removed or you know what I mean so if you feel like a kind of calming energy after doing that or while I was doing that that's why okay so all right so I have some like channeled messages here so for Pisces I got self-destruct and then slash destruction. Um, mermaids, I got mermaids, and then I heard Fleetwood Mac. You can go your own way, go your own way, right? Okay, so you could be like, I mean, <laughs> okay, like you could be telling someone to kick rocks. Okay, this could be a boss, this could be a, a friend, this could be a lover. Old wounds resurfacing, purging to receive. Okay, so. There's this like, exactly what that says, where it's about old wounds resurfacing, coming back up, where you could be feeling things that are connected to past wounds, past life trauma. Okay, so you could be experiencing the emotions, whether that's, you know, anger, uh, sadness, you know, um, irritation, anger, like rage, things like that too. Um, but I'm just getting like, it's just like it's coming up and you could be feeling like, gosh, why do I feel like this? Why am I so emotional? Or why do I feel so on edge? Or, you know, and it's, it could be partially in part, I'm going to say maybe a big reason is for these old wounds resurfacing to be connected to once more and to heal them once and for all and purge them and release them to receive more, you know, um, balanced energy, more love, things like that, right? So it's just, that's what I'm getting here. Okay, and then I got nourishment, water, exercise, spiritual rituals, and cleansing. So I feel like your spiritual side is, is like calling on you. Okay, like lighting candles for the ancestors, connecting with certain spiritual guides, um, spending time in nature. Okay. Like, and if for some reason you can't like spend time out in nature or, you know, maybe you have like really bad allergies right now and it's just like, you can't be outside too much because it like makes your allergies go crazy. Then it's about like pulling up like natural scenes and things like maybe on YouTube or, um, got like lipstick on my lip on YouTube or, you know what I mean? Like letting like, you know, like a flowing river video play where you're connecting to the sound of the water flowing and nature, like it's a real like nature landscape, that kind of thing. I've been doing that a lot actually. I mean, I live like, you know, in the farmland in the country so I can, you know, take walks and do things and connect outside of course. But when I'm indoors and I'm feeling like I, I still wanna connect, I turn those kinds of things on, you know, whether it's a waterfall or like I said, like a river flowing or just, you know, whatever. Okay. So there's something with that and water could be very significant being a water sign. I do feel that like with this fiery Aries energy, um, of Aries season that we're in, you know, the eclipse energy that we're in, it could be like, um, I don't know. I want to say it could feel kind of uncomfortable for you guys you know, energetically speaking. Okay, so it might, the fire energy is gonna be good for you. Okay, to help purify, transmute, bring forth passions, action, energy. But the water element is calling to you as well. So you may even like wanna do like an altar ritual, light some candles, call in some guides, um, 
have the elements there, right? Like candle represents fire. You have like a little bowl of water for the water element, but there's something about like working with the water. Okay. Taking a bath, setting like a very spiritual cleansing shower, like set the intention before you get in, light some candles in the bathroom maybe, or do you know what I mean? Okay. And then self-destruct. Okay, so mermaids, I'm just getting like mermaids, like you just connect with mermaids. Okay, you just, you connect with mermaids. You could be seeing a lot of mermaid references. You could be drawn to like create like art, like art with mermaids. You could be learning more about mermaids or lifetimes as a mermaid, Atlantis, you know, or, or things like that. You could be a Syrian starseed. Self-destruct is like being aware of like not self-destructing or self-sabotaging, very five of swords energy. Let's get the guidance really quickly just around that. Like what, why am I getting self-destruct and then destruction? There could be something where it's like to avoid destruction, you have to like maybe shift some things before like you self-destruct, okay? This could also be about healing in ways in the past where you've self-sabotaged or you've self-destruct, okay? Um, we've all done it, we've all been there, okay? So this could even be old feelings, emotions resurfacing from times that we did do that. Maybe we, right, like a time where you, you feel like you, you, you really, screwed up or you effed up, right? You made a big mistake, right? <clears throat> okay. The tower. I'm like, hold on. Why am I like, it took me a second to like, okay, to tune into that. There's the freaking self-destruct. There's the destruction. And then five of wands is all about fighting, not seeing eye to eye, disconnect, internal conflict between the head and the heart, like conflicting head and heart thoughts. Okay, you could be a divine feminine watching this, the empress, where you are meant to rise into an empress energy, or maybe that's like what you are rising into. And it's like, you gotta like, you gotta like let go maybe of maybe some kind of like, you know, foundation, home thing, um, some kind of union or marriage with the four of wands. I think this is also a lot of like inner conflict still around old wounds maybe from like where you felt like, you know, where you didn't feel stability or where you felt like you were, it was a one-sided relationship or do you know what I mean? It's just like, it kind of gives that feeling of like a mess. It's a mess. These wands are in disarray, right? Okay. Something is, is, is ending or, or something is, it's the universe sending and it's like, you could feel like you're in a tower moment or maybe someone that you connect to is in a tower moment, but I'm reading for you. This could also be like, you know, the past, recent past where you have been moving through a tower moment or tower moments where you just felt like it was very destructive. This is destruction, literally. That's what I heard. And the very first card out is Major Arcana Tower. Anything that feels like chaotic or, you know, uncomfortable, aggressive, it's, it's aligning you, redirecting you for your highest and greatest good, okay, to get you more into this mode. Also, the Empress energy is, you know, she's a very calming energy, a very nurturing, loving, you know, energy in that way. She's not, like, in her masculinity in the way of, like, um, control or ego or, you know, competition or, you know, um, like, I don't know. I'm just kind of getting that, like, I'm trying to one-up, okay? She's more in a place of just, like, I know who I am. I'm the embodiment of love, divine feminine. I'm very, you know, uh, intuitive, empathic. I'm all these things. And that's, that's my superpower because I trust in that. And that's why I don't get in places of like this because I've healed those parts of self. Eight of wands is out here. So there's a pickup and energy for you guys. Okay, Pisces. Um, Things could be moving, things could be shifting or changing suddenly for you. This could also speak of passionate communication coming in. This could be air travel. But it's definitely like a pick up an energy here. Something is, and look at all the lightning bolts, lightning, lightning. It's like, it, it really is. Like it happened, like things happening quickly out of nowhere. It's like lightning strikes. 
okay? You could feel like lightning's been striking maybe in your in your life. Nine of Wands is showing up here, speaking of the Wounded Warrior. And I had put the, the Five of Wands and Four of Wands back in the deck and they showed up again here, right here, okay? So it's about... um. You've been climbing these stairs here and it's like, there's been a lot of wounding, um, but it's like with this crescent moon, the new moon energy that we're into the crescent moon, there's something here where things start to suddenly shift and these new phases, new beginnings, whatever they are, start happening. Yeah, there's this like, and, you know, maybe this isn't you in per se. Maybe it is, like, in a way. But, like, maybe this is also someone here who's kind of going through this. Um, is this someone else that Pisces is connecting to as well who's maybe kind of been going through this tower energy? The world card. Yeah, look. And then the ten swords on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Okay. So, someone's going through some kind of painful ending here. Okay. So, again... Pisces, this could be you, where you have to with the world. The universe is showing up and letting you know, like, this is a time of completion, okay? And having a fresh start, a clean slate in the eyes of the universe, okay, I'm getting karma is cleared. When I say karma is cleared, it's like past life karma, things like that, okay, that you needed to clear and complete, and the universe is saying you have. Now things are going to start picking up speed here for you. Or maybe there's been stagnancy. Okay, but there is maybe a painful ending here, you know, that creates all of this. Okay, it's like I'm hearing the final chapter. But I think someone that maybe, you know, a soulmate that's coming towards you maybe is maybe going through this. Okay, so take it how it feels right for you. Maybe you guys are both going through this. Maybe you and a soulmate out there are mirroring each other in some of your karma. You know, because I feel and, and get things right beyond the cards, obviously. So that's what I'm that's what I'm tuning into here. Yeah, judgment. Look at that. You have the world card and judgment and the tower. Wow. There's a lot of divine realignment happening here and redirection. And it's like, you've been redirected. Okay, there's been that those tower moments. And now this is completion. Okay, so you could be moving through judgment, but it feels like this is like, you've moved through judgment already. Okay, you've been under judgment. This is about resurrection time. This is about like connecting to your soul on a high, high, high level. This could also be a new start after cycles being completed here. Okay, that brings forth the resurrection. Okay, maybe like some kind of, I don't know, but this is the Empress also speaks of harvest and new abundant cycles. So let me clarify this real quick. Show me the world card in judgment because I do feel that there is a very passionate connection between you and someone else that's like coming towards you or coming in. Seven of Pentacles. Let's see what fell out over here on the floor. Temperance. The angels are showing up. Archangel Michael, the blue heron. Yeah, see, I was like talking about like the water element and then like I even talked about the fire. Let me see the water and the fire alchemizing here. A lot of healing happening here, Pisces. Okay, Major Arcana, the angels are helping you heal. Okay. Seven Pentacles is about divine timing. It's about your harvest, the fruits of your labor. The Empress also speaks of harvest, abundance, and the birth of new cycles here. Okay, there could be literal pregnancy. I think the angels are, I think, a part of these, these like, you know, your harvest here, I think, is some kind of like very beautiful healing partnership.
Temperance also speaks of divine timing, just like the Seven of Pentacles. It's the Ten of Cups. Wow. Followed by the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is, this is exactly it. I, I was feeling this beautiful, like, connection for you. And you have the Happily Ever After Ten Cups. Look, it's all rainbows, rainbows. This is, this is like serendipitous. This is very much a soulmate energy. Six of Cups speaks of past life soulmate. Okay. It's like you're getting your happily ever after that you should have gotten in previous lifetimes, but due to the fact that maybe you did not write clear karma or learn the lesson, it didn't happen. It was a missed opportunity, whether you were aware of it or not. And in this lifetime, it's fulfilled. You see, like it's beautiful. Actually, you have deep roots here with someone. You're also an old soul. You're also an old soul. You've had a lot of past lives. Okay. All right. So again, I feel like this is, you know, things coming back to you from past lives that should have happened for you or come to you, you know, before, but because of certain things, our free will choices can prolong things for lifetimes or our free will choices can resist clearing karma through many lifetimes, which obviously many of us have. That's why we're all here, right? Okay. Wow. Okay. So let me pull a little bit more of the world card. I mean, there's so much beautiful, like after a time of like just, blah darkness shadow you know you've risen back up into the light right even though we all have the yin and the yang shadow and light right but it's like you're 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 very connected to your divine self at this time you've had a lot of patience things have taken a long time here pisces for it to like get to this point for you to raise your vibration into the empress energy i'm hearing like gifts for the empress the universe itself is like blessing this is what I want to say. So there's some kind of past life soulmate. Um, emotional fulfillment, happily ever after. All your cups are filled. It's like you're on cloud nine here. Okay, that's what this is. I just saw 1717. That breaks down to 88, eight, but 17 could be relevant. The strength card, Leo energy here, and then the eight cups, followed by the five cups, followed by the son of swords. Um, for a lot of you guys tuning in, this is a past life soulmate here who walked away or you walked away from them. I feel like it's someone who turned their back or walked away is walking back towards you. Even if this is someone that, you know, in one of your last lifetimes together, maybe, right, they walked away from you, they turned their back, and maybe it's something that they've subconsciously on in the soul memory held on to maybe they meet you they see you in this lifetime and they do everything in their power to turn the eight cups into the ten cups right which all you need to get from the eight to the ten is the two of cups okay which is soulmates right beautiful partnership balanced partnership okay so i think someone was afraid i think someone lacked courage okay it was like i feel like they were just more prideful and, e and in the ego we'll just say that we'll leave it there Okay, someone is really, really sad. And I feel like this person spies or, right, they have their eye on you somehow. Or they are about to, like maybe in like a week or two, you get a friend request or you, someone starts following you on Instagram and, right, and then all of a sudden, maybe, you know, a week or two later, they reach out to you. There's something connecting here. And yeah, I mean, you can absolutely, obviously meet people in person, but I think, Nowadays, it's pretty obvious, right? Like a lot of people come across the universe is utilizing the internet just like we do, basically, right? Okay. If, if paths can cross online, you know? The Father of Wands, the Six of Swords, I mean, Six of Wands. <laughs> The Six of Wands and then the Daughter of Pentacles. And then this fell out too. Okay. So the, and then we get the Seven of Wands. All right. So one, I'm getting like you may want to like protect your energy. Like just make sure you're shielding your energy, protecting your energy. Um, there could be people around you who are very like, I don't know. Like I'm also getting like don't be defensive, Pisces. Don't be on your defense. Like be in the place of the empress like that's like masculinity where you're like defensive you're like 
right? Like all that. The Empress is very relaxed. She's very in the mode of just receiving and like a loving, you know, a vibration, that kind of thing. Okay. But what I'm also getting here is that this is exactly what I felt as far as pride and ego. We got the Father of Wands, which is the King of Wands energy. Someone was just protective of themselves and they like didn't show how they really felt. Okay. So yeah, someone's definitely, there's some kind of breakup or something happening here for someone. Okay. There is communication energy here for you, Pisces. And I feel that it's someone who's like maybe had their eye on you. Like they've, I feel like you've known this person maybe for some of you guys for a while. Okay. It's like they've been wanting to send a message maybe for a while. Okay. I'm also getting right. Look at this, the rainbow. It's like they have, there's some kind of like awakening activation. Like they're tuning into their chakras. So like their throat chakra is flowing right now because of whatever they've been healing. Blah, 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 right then that means they want to be authentic. They want to be expressive. They want to be truthful, honest, right? If they're connecting right with the heart chakra, then the heart chakra speaks of like love and, you know, not being insecure or jealous or, or, you know, comparing things of that nature, right? So, and so on and so forth. So I just feel like their chakras are very, um, I mean, there could be like one or two that are a little like, you know, blocked or something, but I'm just getting for the most part, the energy is flowing and the chakras are flowing. And I feel like this person is really tuning in in that way on that level, whoever they are. Getting honest, getting real with themselves, right? I don't know. That's just what I got. Okay. So let me get real quick. Okay. So let me get a couple before we go romance angels. So this is what I've got for you at this time, Pisces. I just feel like this is, you know, with the world card and everything too, even with like the five cups, eight cups, this is like a time where the 10 of cups is happening for you. Um, and the universe is saying so with the world card because of, you know, everything you've been through with the tower moments, with grief, with emotional loss, pain, sadness, you know, um, heartbreak, right? Um, breakups, like just all the things, right? You've, you've been walked away from, people have abandoned you, right? Like you had to go on this like quest by yourself. You had to like do this stuff on your own, right? We all did, we all do, right? So it's letting you know, um, I think Virgo got the same similar message of like, you know, you've been through some shit and it was all for a reason. That's what you signed up for when you came, you know, incarn incarn incarnated here. Wedding and trust, yeah, see, someone could be leaving behind a marriage where trust is broken, everything is over, it's just, right? But I'm also, what this is for me is it's long-term commitment between you and a divine counterpart. And this is all about trust and faith. And it's like the universe is literally saying, the situation here is have is calling for you to have faith. And then the situation involves marriage. So it's like have faith that there that this is your person. Whether you believe in marriage, don't believe in marriage, it doesn't matter. It's like, this is your soul. It's a soul marriage. It's like the person who you are married to on a soul level. Okay. It is everything in, in, with the 10 of cups, it's like everything you could ever want. 10 cups, six cups. This is a very strong, beautiful past life connection that you share with each other. Okay. A lot of trust here. This is easy flowing, easy breezy. This is like, you guys just, you guys just tune into each other on such a high level that like, there's no room for jealousy. Like every, all of that's healed and cleared anyways by the time you guys come together with this person. That's what you guys have been going through. That's why we have all these cards. Um, it's just solid. It's a solid, solid, solid soulmate union. The crow spirit came out. So the crow, and a, you could be one of your spirit animal guides. You could connect with it a lot. I think for most of you guys tuning in, I think that's gonna resonate. I know I have a lot of ancient souls on the channel, high priests, high priestesses, Okay, my my witches out there, all right, but the crow spirit, I feel like you're you're also very strong for some of you guys, strong mediums, your mediumship is very strong. Okay, like the crow, you're very in tune and connect very easily. Um, you are a conduit for the spiritual realm. Okay, the crow messenger spirit could come and literally be bringing you messages telepathically. So when you see crows or one lands like on a tree and is like kind of looking down, it's communicating with you more than likely. So tune in like quite the mind, like what is coming through? What are you receiving? Okay. So co-create with spirit. Yeah, exactly. Okay. 
All right, yeah, see, what did I say about the eight, the eight of wands, my loves? I said it's an energy speed up with your life more than anything. It's things picking up speed. It's an energetic boost per se, where things just have kind of been right? And then all of a sudden it's like, like that, okay? The eclipse energy and everything that's been building up, okay, it's doing that. It is a, it is a huge, like, just, we are blasting forward in a very quick way, okay? And that's what the antelope is. The antelope is very fast moving energy. Life is speeding up. That's why you have it. Okay. And then you have the owl spirit. You can see clearly now. This is about your spiritual wisdom. Okay. Your third eye. Like you're seeing clearly with those through that way. You're also going to see clearly why things happen the way they did. Why you've gone through what you've gone through or been going through what you've been going through. Why you couldn't come together with this soulmate whenever, back when, and why it's happening now. Everything is going to make sense. You're going to see very, very clear here with the owl. 43 could be your age. Okay. We also have 17 and 2. I mean, these could be dates. Um, you could be life path number 8, life path number 2, life path number 7. All right. And let's get one message today from the fairies. Let's see what the fairies have to say for you, my beautiful. I want to say whimsical and enchanting Pisces. Okay. So I'm talking to some like, you know, like I said, old souls, like you guys are like, you guys really understand, you know, that, you know, magic is real, that we are magic. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why I keep like referencing the things I am. Okay. So what do we have for Pisces before we go? I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you guys who is here with your presence, co-creating these, these readings with me. Also, anyone who's donated um, any amount of anything to uh, through Super Thanks Commons or through Super Chat when I go live or, you know, through my PayPal or whatever it is. I thank you guys so, so, so much. It's so appreciated. Um, and just know that when you do that, that is sending really positive energy out that will come back to you. And I pray that anyone who sends me, you know, anything, a dollar, whatever, that it comes back to you multiplied by a million. So, okay? And so it is. Aho. Um, and, uh, yeah. And I just thank everyone for your presence on the channel. But, anyways. Because you guys are here interacting and all that. And it helps the channel grow. And that's good karma because I'm a light worker, right? And I'm just here. It's like you're supporting and connecting with my light work. Um, and it's about paying it forward because it's like the algorithms will be sending out, you know, the video to connect with other people who need this too. So thank you for helping with that. Protection. Didn't I say protection about shielding yourself and then motivation. So that's what I mean by the energy pickup too, where you're just going to start feeling more motivated and ready for life. Like you're just going to feel like maybe you have felt like low energy. Maybe you've just felt unmotivated, like all these things, right? That's what this is. That's why we have motivation because I feel for a lot of you, it's, that's what the pickup in energy is. It's starting to feel more energized, more motivated, more inspired, more passionate, more like you have a zest for life where maybe for a while you just felt like kind of just meh, right? Meh. Okay. The fairy ring of protection is with you. And look at, we have all the beautiful, like, um, each fairy brings a different, like light ray, light energy of healing. Okay. Um, this is also like the chakra energy for me too. Okay. Your auras. All right. Some of you guys, you might be able to connect, um, and see auras that could be part of your, your spiritual gifts. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. So even, I mean, that could be like working with your crystals. That could be working with your pendulum. That could be, you know, maybe you are a, a, a reader, okay? Or maybe you just have your own oracle or tarot cards where you pull for yourself. Anytime we connect with divination tools, we need to protect ourselves. There's, you know... Like, I know that I'm, you know, I know that I'm super crazy protected, right? But as a spiritual, you know, um, you know, as a priestess, as someone who is a practitioner of divination and connects and channels and, right, connects with the spiritual realm and all these things, I always throw my shields up. I'm responsible for my own energy. So I think that's what this is, but they're letting you know. You, you are probably very connected to the fairies. 
Uh, maybe you have seen fairies. They've, they've showed up for you in one way or the next. But they are protecting you with a spiritual, like a protection ring of the of the fey energy. But it also says that, but you know, for psychic protection, which means under psychic attack. So this could be as easy, like as easy, as simple as someone who just doesn't like you. Maybe they don't even know you, but they don't like you, <laughs> right? And someone like on your Facebook page, and every time you post something, they're just like, "Ugh, I roll. I can't stand them." That's sending out negative vibes and energy towards that person. Okay. All right. But there's a lot of light workers who are going under spiritual attack, psychic attack, things like that, because the darker forces are extremely agitated at this time because they have lost. They, the, the light has won. We all know that, right? And they're being squeezed out, which is why we're saying the world in the way that it is. So they're super fucking agitated. And they will try to dissuade. They will try to latch on. They will try to infiltrate. They will try to attack. They will try to confuse you. They will try intrusive thoughts. They will try um, all these things. Okay. So just be aware of that. Protect yourselves. Okay. Um, and I think that's it. Okay, my love. So I'm going to just leave it here. Um, yeah, we're already 30 minutes in. Okay. So know that, you know, you, you are protected and you do have some like very, you know, powerful spirit guides and and animal guides here too but it's about ourselves okay and that's too like with self-destruct remember um that could be it too it's like we don't want to self-destruct because we're not taking the, the the two seconds it takes to shield ourselves before we you know connect with our tarot cards or our pendulum or a client or you know whatever it is right so okay I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, I think I already said this, but I can't remember. If you want to book with me, if you want to connect with me personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and you want to connect with my gifts and tune in on, you know, whatever it is, anything, your a twin flame journey, um, your spiritual path, your, your soul gifts and mission, whatever it is, right? Connecting with your ancestors, or maybe you want are guided to a past life Akashic reading with me because I am um, a psychic and a medium, but I'm a, a very strong I have a very strong connection to the Akash where I tune into this, you know, it's, it's all, it's your, all your past lives and your soul's memories. So it's, it's very strong. Um, but those are very healing readings for you because it always connects to this lifetime, the past lives that come through and it brings forth messages that help you about your gifts, about your, your, you know, things that you need to heal, phobias, things that you might be afraid of in this lifetime or have some kind of underlying fears and then I connect with why we, we, it's like reliving moments of your past lives. So they're really cool, but they're also really healing. And I don't know why I went into such detail about that. So maybe someone out there is being called. You don't need a past life Akashic reading with me. I'm not trying to upsell by any means. What I'm saying is like, maybe if it's something you're called to try tapping into your own Akash or, you know, connecting with a, a readers who, who does. Right. So anyways, that's all. <laughs> Have a beautiful day, my loves, and I'll see you soon.